Hello, friend, and happy holidays. Welcome back to Hit or Humbug, part three. And today I'm going to review the 1935 black and white version, because that's all the hell they had in 1935 uh, in the movies. What in it starring Seymour Hicks? And uh, I'm gonna say the accuracy on this one, they get like a five out of ten. Um, I mean, it's old, I mean, almost coming up on 100 years old, 90 years old at least. Uh, probably the first version, I'm not exactly sure about that. I'll check and I'll let you know right here somewhere. Um, so that when it comes to the clock, let's get to the clock because you know I'm a stickler for time. Marley comes in, he tells him that the first ghost is coming at midnight. Wrong. It's supposed to be one o'clock, but then no mention of the other two at all. <laughs> okay. Uh, the, the Marley speech, very lacking in accuracy. Uh, and he's invisible. We can't even see him. I get he's a ghost, but Scrooge was able to see him. Why can't we see him? I don't know. They could have just put a white sheet on a dude like Casper the Ghost or something. It would have been better. Artistic license, I suppose. It sucks. Where's my Marley? God damn it. All right. <laughs> Sorry. So the clock, in actuality, what actually happens during the night or nights? One night, I guess. Uh, Christmas Pass shows up at midnight like Marley said, which is incorrect. And Christmas Pass is only a shadow, like this lighted shadow dude. Pretty lame. Uh, Christmas Present comes at 1 o'clock, which is actually the time that in the book he was supposed to come. So they got that right accidentally because Marley never even tells them what time he's coming. And, and, and Christmas present is, he doesn't have a beard. He's just a big fat guy with no beard. He doesn't even have a goatee like me. Nothing. Come on. You could put a fake Santa beard on him. Even the, they had even that in 1935. I know they did. <laughs> All right, so Christmas future. No clock, no bell, nothing rings. So I have no idea what time he showed up. Uh, and all you see is his hand, this like dark hand pointing around. No robed figure. How easy could that be to do? <laughs> I'm surprised he even had Christmas present in there at all. Maybe he should have just had like a big ball rolling around or something. I don't know. Stupid. Okay, uh, another big problem in, in, in the section on the Christmas past, they don't even go to Scrooge's school. They jump straight to like his romance stuff and then the breakup scene. And that's like almost it. So they don't, they don't go to the school which is like a pretty crucial scene to, for the development of the young little baby Scrooge. <laughs> and then the, the most unforgivable one, they skip Fezziwig altogether. There's no fucking Fezziwig in this movie. How do you do that? I don't know. No Fezziwig. And they have a really short segment where they go to his nephew Fred's house. And it's cut short, too. I don't know. So, sorry, Seymour. I don't know. You're dead as a door now. But it's a big fucking humbug for me. Sorry, dude. All right, guys. See you in the next episode, whatever that is. I don't even know yet. Fuck on and have... A happy, happy holiday.